even back in school, here's an interesting story. A lot of people think that I have the gift of the gap. But back in school, uh, it, during my secondary days, I was actually in a debate team. I was chosen to be in a debate team. And the first time I went up on stage, I remember, and I was standing in front of all my classmates, uh, I froze. I didn't know what to say. I was stuck, you know. And it was the most embarrassing moment of my life, which left me wondering at the end of the day, you know, of that day, I was like, why was it so difficult for me to, 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 to speak in front of people and all? So I made it almost a life commitment to actually tell myself that you have to be able to speak confidently and to be able to speak to people in order to get along in life, you know, which I think is very true nowadays. Because even if you want to klentong, you better klentong uh, confidently. Uh, then people always believe you, you know. Hey, hi there, I'm David Chiu from BFM 89.9. You know the guy from 6 to 10 o'clock in the morning, every morning, tries to change the world for you? But you know what, Juliet, I mean, it always comes back to this lack of... My typical day in BFM basically starts at about 4 in the morning. That's when I wake up. Um, I do the first round of stories that come on between 6 to 7 o'clock in the morning. So at about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, between 4 to 5 o'clock in the morning is basically gathering stories. Um, not only from Europe but the US and also the Asia Pacific region. That's why I put them together, collate them and then I do the 6 to 7 o'clock um, news uh, posts that we have on the, on the air. Then uh, I come into the office before 6 in the morning and then we have uh, the others joining in as well from the morning run cr crew and what we do is we get together and then we start to discuss about the stories that we need to go on uh, for the rest of the morning by 7 o'clock in the morning uh, that is really when everything starts to get you know starts to pick up steam and we really pick up speed from then on what's, what's also interesting once in a while is we do get uh, very interesting guests people who come in with uh, not only a business sense of, of things but uh, people who actually want to change the world about uh, and the world around them and that's when it gets really interesting. For me, the attitude when I wake up in the morning and uh, you got to give yourself this, this sort of pep talk in the morning is that when you wake up and you come into this job, you come into it thinking that you're going to try and make this world a better place. And that's basically what you're trying to do when you're on the air. BFM, I felt, as I said before, has a little mission. We try to be a platform for intelligent discourse, which is non which is non-existent like, all over the airways right now. And uh, being a change, being part of that change, or that movement of change, is what makes me very proud to be actually in this station, to be part of it all. Wearing these three letters over here, it's like a little badge of honor sometimes because uh, going out to the streets and whenever you meet people and they say, Oh, you're with BFM. I love your station. Yeah, and that makes me really proud to be part of the team.